Det är väl bra. Bleach it time ever on! Så kors la han där, moderer. Java, hava, hava is winning. Is she's a traitor. Urukara is confused. But long kors time for another Bleach episode after 31,000 year. And yeah, it's me starting here. Java, ha, plans successful right. I will never forgive Ishida. Uh, Soy Fong is also pissed off. <laughs> Soy Fong is like, Ishida! See, she's like, traitor! <laughs> she's pissed off. You hurt my waifu, exactly. Soy Fong, the most relatable character. Um, but okay, clearly he's transforming into kind of... Yeah, he's turning into that black guy from Black Clover now. Becomes some kind of weird uh, eye goo thing. Yeah, like it's turning into a horror, horror anime. I mean, it's clearly you have a have a have a have a. Oh, it's like tiny little babies. Oh, it's a bunch of you have babies. He's becoming a mom. Hmm. Oh, it's very dark. Fix that. Too dark. But yeah, they're basically gonna be surrounded by these like blob blob uh, things he created. Since he kind of unlocked more of his god eyes power. Oh, here we go. Senbun Sakura. I wish Michael Tana. <laughs> yeah, if this wasn't live streaming, I would do a cool effect now of like Senbun Sakura. And my katana would transform into a thousand petals here and fly around. <laughs> it's like, Senbun Sakura. Which, I mean, I think Ishida's, you know, full stand his Bankai was very similar to uh, Senbun Sakura, right? Last episode. But yeah, now they're being like, I don't know. What happened? Someone blasted all the tiny little blob guys. Someone's Bankai? It wasn't Ichigo, right? Maybe he did get shot down though and landed somewhere. Or is it the uh, Holos? I mean, it's Aizen! Is it Aizen? Aizen is in the chair like, I got this. Aizen! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aizen is like, pathetic, I got this. He goes to opening, that's our Aizen! <laughs> He's just like, I, I killed them all, yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Someone's back to Aizen, is like, Ugh, I got it. <laughs> he sits in the chair like, oh, whatever, I don't care of it, guys. You pathetic. <laughs> no. As soon as I heard a voice, I was like, no, it's Aizen, right? That's Aizen, yeah. First it exploded, I was like, who is it? So it was Aizen, of course. He's being like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sitting in his chair. Yes. Dynamic entrance, definitely one of the best entrances. I still think that I'm still a sucker for you know Naruto, and one and one day we're gonna rewatch Naruto here in the channel or rewatch. But I mean, I have never read to Naruto on the channel right because obviously I, I watched Naruto many years before I did YouTube. But anyway, so obviously I did Naruto many years before the channel, right, so to speak. So, but one day I kind of hope to you know. The reaction to Naruto as well, all the B3, right? But but really, I've done like a rewatch of like Rock Lee, you know, like some of my favorite scenes, right? But my point is that Rock Lee does it as well too. But otherwise, one of my all time favorite scenes is, of course, when Naruto uh, enters, which was pain, right? You're talking about if you If you're a Shonen fan, you're talking about that scene is so good when Naruto's standing on the frogs and it's like a frog on a frog. <laughs> yeah, he's like, let's go! And everyone is standing on top of each other and they're like, yeah, it's time for fight. Yeah, it's like this. The entrance is still probably my favorite. This Iceland one was good, cool too. He was like, pathetic losers, I, I got you guys. Yeah, he's like, I'm here to save you, you pathetic <laughs> Bankai losers, kind of guys. Uh, commercial break. Yeah, Dragon Ball commercial break. Um, but I do think that, still, to this day, the Naruto one might be my favorite. I do have a Naruto figure over there, actually, uh, which I almost gonna grab now. Can I reach it now? Whatever. But. On the table over to my here I have a table with more figures, right? I have figures there. I wear too much stuff, right? So um, I have a figure of uh, Naruto over there, um, which is actually then of course female Naruto. Yeah. <laughs> when I saw that, I had to buy it, guys. I saw that one, I was like, oh, I gotta, gotta buy that one. Oh, is it a Bleach game now? There's something bleachy, but it doesn't look like. Might be a Blu-ray commercial. Nah, I feel more like an anime now, though. What are they actually? But this is so, is it a ride? Man, it's super confusing, it's like a bleach. Well, it looks like a, you know, like some kind of roller coaster. What is this thing? Night walk for, I haven't, what? It's like a bleach night walk? Where you walk inside, what was that? What? <laughs> what was that? It's some kind of amusement park with bleach. 
Just my headphones, sorry. Yeah, I was like, what was that? I could barely even start what it was. Like, Bleach Nightwalk? I gotta go to that. Yeah, Bacana! Here we go! Now someone is screaming, Bacana! <laughs> Who could release uh, Aizen? You fool! Yeah, Bacana! Oh, very good. But yeah, of course, Captain Commander has released Bison. Yes. That was a foil slip. <laughs> yeah. They're not very happy, of course, seeing Aizen outside. To no surprise. Hmm. Bjorka is like, huh? I guess this is good. <laughs> he is all about me, like, I can see the use of this, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's angry and Bjork is like, hmm, this sounds like a good plan, yeah. He's very pragmatic, he's like, yeah, I think I like this, yeah. But yeah, of course, I'm the captain commander now. You follow my command, yeah, like, I'm in charge. He definitely changed personality, I would say, arguably. Never not changed personality, but he definitely changed how he acts, right? Since, of course, Yamato died and he became Captain Commander. Yeah, he used to be like the sake drinking, you know, loof guy. And now he's like, no, I'm in charge. Shut up. <laughs> now he's much more like, you shut up, you weaklings. I do what I want. I'm the boss. Yeah, now. But of course, Iceland's only released uh, halfway here. Or not even halfway, but I mean, you know what I mean? He's like, he's somewhat still sealed, of course, in the chair as one. Yeah, he's not like fully, fully formed here. Oh, he got more of this weird blob thing that uh, Yahawa is doing. But yeah, I guess Aizen is there to like, take care of that black blob at least. He obviously got so much Ryatsuk, you sit there and destroy it. <laughs> well, it's just scary, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna leave Aizen in the chair like, you took care of the blobs and stuff, right? He's like, well, I, I wanna meet Ichigo again right there, so... But after all, actually, what's the Kaido mess? Uh, not Ka uh, Kido, I mean, Kaido. <laughs> One Piece, probably, no, Kido, Kido. Not Kaido, Kido. He's, uh, yeah, he's doing like the 99 uh, Kido spell there. So he's still alive, I guess, Utake? So, well, I mean, I, I keep saying it, but I said I'm saying it. I think it is very not really defined how the Ukate thing, how much life force he has doing that whole turning into the hand thing. Because he still stands there, like, I guess, kind of alive. You know what I mean? Or he's dead, like, turning into the hand or whatever, but. Okay, so I still blasted off the whole place. But now it looks like he's empty again. Oh, God, the black blobs are gone. Yari Yari, oh yeah. Oh my god, his testament references. Yari Yari indeed, Dyson. I like how Aizen in a chair is the most... Yeah, I like how Aizen in a chair is the most best strongest thing they have. Aizen only using his pinky. Aizen with his pinky is like the strongest weapon they have. He's like, I can point at the other guy and destroy him. Yeah, it's like... And then goes so focused into her ridiculous banka. I, I do love it her bank is so ugly that the whole thing is that she hates her banka because it's not very ninja like it's a bazooka. <laughs> it's worst banka ever. At least from my personal standpoint, you know, like the other bankas tend to be kinda like who they are, right? You know what I mean? Like their banka tend to be like based on who of their personality, you know what I mean? Her banka is just like, why the hell I get this banka for? Yeah, it's like cursed <laughs> cursed like <laughs> right? why why they get the banka for? Oh my god, that's the ice in face! Oh, I said it's like, yes! My plan! There <laughs> we go! He's like, I will blast up there! But I love it, the ice is so strong that he sits there in his chair and he's like stronger than all the captains together. He's like, I got this. Let's let, let Aizen do his thing, yeah. Captain Commander is like, he got some crazy scheme, yeah, whatever. Let him let him blast Yamaha with his uh, energy beams, yeah. He's like, come Yamaha, basically. Come on, this is Aizen doing Kamiha. Come on, man. There was like a pink Kamiha there. Oh, that was beautiful. And yet, he can't still leave the chair. You know, he sits there flexing in the chair. <laughs> it's like, <"Arr!"> he's, <laughs> he's like, I'm just. Oh, but that smile was beautiful. That's gonna be a thumbnail, guys. That's gonna be a thumbnail. That, that, that was beautiful. That's probably gonna be a thumbnail. Unless something else happens. Yeah, but that was. That, just that smile was just beautiful. I just loved the evil smile. 
Isis being like, <laughs> they're like, hand. that evil closing his eyes, like, okay, here comes uh, Mayuri. So Mayuri has a lot of screen time in the opening. Even Nemu has a little pissed off mode, right? So I wonder if she, it does feel like he's going to get injured and his daughter will be pissed off, right, in the opening. She's jumping at the hand and so on, yeah. So I wonder what that means. Because she's kind of like doing... Yeah, of course Mayuri is like, oh, you owe me a lot, Aizen, yeah. You tricked me last time. Mayuri probably hates him the most, arguably. I would think so, in the sense that he's like, you know, he's like very jelly that Aizen had all his plans and schemes, right? That he wants to have. Oh, here we go, happy now, Aizen is owned. Wait, what? Some random... Oh yeah, this guy with the, like the chessboard the teeth, guys. Did that even hurt Aizen though? I will feel like that thing probably didn't hurt Aizen. is like, well, that didn't even hurt me though. Oh, they have to save Aizen now? They have to like protect Aizen now. <laughs> okay, so this guy is trying to kill Aizen. <laughs> this guy is underestimating Aizen here. Oh, here they come, the rest of the Aranka. Yeah, Giselle and so on. Best girl. Yes. Do 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 do. Come on, it's playing the whole music though. But this is the best girl, yeah. Giselle Shan is there. And I guess she also has, of course, her zombie bambetta with her though. Yeah, she's zombie around probably. Zombie explosive girl. But I like it, they're like, we have to protect Aizen now, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, wait, we have to protect him now? Ugh. Can we let him die instead? Yeah, <laughs> everyone is like, can we leave? Do we have to protect this bro? Ah, there she goes, she's summoning, yeah, summoning the zombies. And Myra's like, come on, we've already done this one. So yeah, Myra is like, come on, girl. <laughs> okay, that might be the top thing now. of it. But she's like, screw you, Myra! <laughs> like how Myra is like, stupid girl, I already controlled those zombies once. You plan doesn't work with me. Okay, that might be... <laughs> that was great, yeah, that was great. That was effing that was beautiful. That was beautiful. <laughs> Giselle's doing that. Yeah, like, screw you, Mauri. Oh, it's, it's uh, Aizen up again? Aizen is just like, uh, you hurt me, so I'm pissed off now, right? No, it's Bass B is betraying them. This is in the opening. Yeah, Bass B is a traitor. This is in the opening, though. Obviously, this guy is like punching the. the this guy was clearly punching the power wish because he's, he's angry that uh, Yava is killing everyone. Because he knows he's going to absorb their powers, yes. He's like, they're going to join them because they don't want to get killed by their leader, right? Because, he, because when they die, he can absorb their powers, you know, and so on. Yeah, so he's just like, no, I was betraying him. <laughs> so, but you see how Bass B is a traitor in the opening. Come on, you have to be blind to see that in the opening, that he was a traitor. Am I the one one? Um, yeah, so they're going to join the, they're going to join the Shinigamis now. But I mean, this makes sense if they're not like completely fanatic. It's like, why would you follow Yavaha if you figure out his plan is you ever to die if his plan to succeed, basically? Yeah, Best B is like, no, I wanna kill this guy because I don't, yeah, I don't wanna die. So Best B is a traitor now. I see, yeah. Yeah, Mato is. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I got all these people now. Okay, commercial break. Uh, the sun is almost down now. Oh yeah, when I watched this before I uh, went home, I was kind of crazy with the gym because I also do the gym right before I watch um, Bleach on Saturdays, and uh, they have not changed any of the gym timers for like summer times, winter time, and all this dumb stuff, right? So at the gym, I was there for like an hour, like after five minutes, and I was like, wait, I was, I was doing uh, bank pressing, inclined bank press, and I was like. See that the, the clock on the wall. I was like, wow, oh, bleach, bleach. I can throw off the weight. It's like running into the locker room. I have to change clothing. I have to go home, you know, bleach. And then I was like in the locker room, like, oh, yeah, it really says uh, like this timer. It's like, wait, I haven't been for two hours. But I was almost changing. It's like, wait, so I asked some guy, that was a time, and his phone's like, oh, it's. Just like... So every clock in the gym had the wrong time. <laughs> every clock was in the wrong time. But not just that one clock where the bank press was, but all the other clocks too, in every in every room. Uh, yeah, so no wonder I was confused there. Because I mean, I was, well, you know, so I was checking all the clocks too, it's like, they all say the same, they all say the wrong time, yeah, it's like... Um, but anyway, get some Bass B backstory maybe? Nah. They might add a little bit in the anime, I suppose. Maybe. 
No, but I think this is like, I think they actually make sense. Uh, I mean, obviously some of the Queenchies are more like, you know, uh, how say it, they're more fanatic, right? And the Queenchies are clearly like medical uh, Nazis, right? So they're kind of fanatic, some of them, absolutely. But uh, Best B is more like, I don't want to follow this idiot. I don't want to die, right? Because he wants them to die so he can absorb their life force and powers and get the powers and so forth, right? You know what I mean? He's just like, nah, I think I'm just going to not do that. But then anyway, I never see some random. Yeah, I see the different Shinigamis getting up. Mayuri is like. <laughs> Someone's got some weird. <laughs> Mayuri all got some crazy stuff going on. Oh, yeah, these two is on him. Yeah. yeah, but Mayuri all got some weird stuff going on. Mayuri is like, oh, I got this giant button here. It opens a giant door to a monster behind me. They're like, yeah, Mayuri, but we use service. We're not gonna fight this. Sh sh uh, we're gonna team up with them. The shooting arm is gonna team up with them. He's like, but I pressed the button. <laughs> but that's gonna have my restart. He's like, I pressed the button though to summon my giant monster. So I want to fight this thing. <laughs> Here we go. Is what is it? It's a kind of like yeah, yeah and spaceship or something. <laughs> it's been, okay, fine. You might use it to get up there to guard or something. Yeah, all the all the shooting arm is gonna. F can get up into Mayer's weird spaceship. But okay, fine, the spaceship had some use though. It wasn't used because he wanted to like show off. He's like, I got a spaceship, guys. But uh, still, I felt that Mayer was like, this can kill all those uh, Quinches. Like, there are teammates like, this can kill the Quinches. <laughs> I was like, let me do it. Oh yeah, she's angry. Well, yeah, Kipache, of course, King, he killed all the Kipache. That was a mistake. So to speak. No, I don't know. It's always interesting, right, the Unohana fight, because you would imagine that he might, maybe he couldn't, you know, yeah. Like, Soraki couldn't really, like, evolve his fighting style without killing her. He had to, you know, defeat her in true death, right? To kind of achieve his powers, yeah. But you could argue that she could have, like, maybe fought him to, like, 99%? Right? And then uh, survived and then left or whatever? I don't know. What do you guys think? Don't come below, but... It does feel like maybe he could have survived that. A little bit like, yeah, no. Okay, so now they're standing here with even the Queen's too. On Mayuri's spaceship. Or whatever you call it, but yeah. I'm gonna call it Mayuri's spaceship. I like I like it. They're uh, standing here. Or Giselle is one. So obviously, Kubo knows that Giselle is best girl. Because he's like, she's gonna be a traitor. And the only shooting up is, she's the best character. He's like, Giselle. Yes. <laughs> she. She's gonna be the only Queen to survive in this thing. He's like, yes. She's the most important queen she I have, so she will survive. You hubba hubba hubba! But yeah, they're all like, we gotta get up there and fight him. I have to say though, I really don't know what all these like really minor Shinigamis will do. It honestly feels like, I don't know much purpose. I'm just gonna be that guy. How much purpose does this guy bring them? These like guys in the back here? They're like literally like level one Gotai guys, yeah. They will do nothing. These like rallies like, yeah, let's let's fight him! World War Three! But these guys are like even die like one AV ability. <laughs> like I used to watch Vox Market yesterday. They were fighting the dragon, and the dragon's like you know, one flame breath, and like all the elf army is like completely vaporized. Yeah, it's like I mean I like that they're teaming up with the strong queens or whatever. These guys these, these people in this circle, they have like bunkers and so on. So they have like a purpose. Yeah, this captain with the bankai and so on, you know what I mean? He can do something. Yeah, and she can do something and so on. I mean, these, these people have some purpose, right? Yeah, she can do something. But the older guys behind them are basically like, not even a she guys. They're just gonna die. <laughs> nice. The beloved friendships. Classic best friends. <laughs> so far, like, well, don't drag me into this thing. Yeah, like, don't you drag me into this thing. I don't, I don't care about you guys. No, it's the spa. It's the spa thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, remember the uh, super onsen ability. Yeah, I've been... Exactly. You each had super onsen with her. It's the onsen, 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 super onsen. <laughs> He's like, the onsen episode will be badass. Uruhara is like, I'm waiting for the fan search episode with onsen, so I...
Yeah, this is always the Vice are completely pointless. I mean, that is very true. I mean, we see Rose getting owned, right? Yeah, yeah, the Vice or the Oscar turn into Hollows, so no, it, ne it never does anything. Even, which is really stupid, because the Hollows actually do hurt the Quinches. <laughs> I know, that is basically a plot hole, to be honest. It's basically a plot hole that they don't really use the Vice or more, because... Yeah, the Vysor's powers are like a natural, you know, Im Im damage for the qu for the Queen Simp. That's why they destroy Hollow's right, because Hollow hurts them. Yeah, so it's like Hollow energy is like the reverse of Queen's energy, right? Whatever you call it, like darkness versus light or whatever. Yeah, so they hurt them like physically or inherently in their soul or whatever, right? So, yes, the, <laughs> they should have used the Vysor way more. It is basically probably the biggest... Um, they build plot hole, but like plot convenience, how the Visor tend to not fight that much in this arc. Yeah, they're like, nah, we gotta stay over here and do research projects. But anyway, yeah. Shunshu Shun Shun and Aizen are discussing something. But it's all, there's very a lot of undertones with Aizen. He's like, yes. Sure. Oh yeah, they're fighting a fly up there. The episode is probably a little slow paced looking better than the manga. Yeah. I will admit, what do you guys think? I think this episode is. I mean, I like the Ison bit, of course. We also love the Ison bit. And Giselle is the one. Every, Giselle seems the one. But yeah, it's a little bit. Now they're just like standing here for like five minutes now. Now, I mean, sure, it's not talking, but. Nothing is really happening, honestly. And it's not like they're having. I'm just being honest. This is probably the weakest episode. Even with Ison being a badass the first 10 minutes. Now I feel it's like the dread out there. Now Ruka is doing a speech, Soifong is doing a speech, you know, Uruhara is like, you know, here comes uh, Saraki doing a speech, yeah. It's like five speeches in a row. See, like, everyone's doing a speech now. He's like, Saraki is like, Kapachi time, bros, yeah. Everyone does their own, like, speech here. Oh, yeah, Captain Kapachi, let's go. Oh, yes, it's like everyone's doing, like, a moral... Yeah, science girls doing a speech. Come on, Christ, man. Yeah, everyone is doing like their own, like, like yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, now they're all like teaming up. They're all friends now. Yeah, Bass B and Randy are obviously besties. They're clearly besties after this arc. Obviously, those two are like the uh, same character, just different, uh, yeah, just different, uh, you know, say power spectrum, whatever. But yeah, obviously, Randy and Bass B are gonna be bros after this. That's the same person, basically. <laughs> Come on, seriously. Bass B is clearly a Randy on the Christian side. Yeah, he's like, yeah, bro. He's pointing at his like bandana. Like, Let's be a cool. I like your bandana, bro. He's like, yeah. I like your hairstyle. Okay, back. Okay, Ichigo is not dead, so no surprise. Honestly, like, who the person has to be dead, right? <gasps> Urihime cheated! Probably. Power of love, or is power of time healing or something? Oh, she's tired because yeah, she got she got like he time healing power so, oh she's hungry. Oh yeah, she used a lot of stamina I guess to heal him. Yeah, yeah. Well, to no surprise, I mean I said last episode that sure you should have killed him, but oh she had it fine too. Yes, you just had it fine too. She's like dad, you need to go Uribe. Uribe is best girl. Yuri like don't worry, my hand is fixed too, guys. Yes, wife power up. There we go, Urihime is a very useful waifu. Yes, she fixed Yurichi's weird destroyed hand thing. And Colin is there, the best buddy. Colin has so much more screen time back in the days. He was comic relief, right? Yeah, Colin used to be the cutest guy ever. <laughs> they were like, thank you for your death, Colin. I'm not dead! He's like, yes! Oh, uh, you're not dead yet? Okay, whatever then. I like it, you're all like, yeah, whatever, thank you for your service, Con. <laughs> like, I need to die, guys. They're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> sure, Con, sure. Shut up. <laughs> like, no ruining moment. Yes, yeah, like, some ruining the moment, Con. Ah, uh, come on. But yeah, Con used to have way more screen time. Uh, looks like Urihime is Oppa is mad. This scene Oppa is massive. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, nice, nice. You reach assets. You reach assets. You reach assets. Oh, that was a great scene. That. She showed her hand was perfectly fine there. Oh yeah, nice, more assets. <laughs> like seriously, why? I'm, I'm, I just question, why do you keep showing her ass? I don't know, because that's what I want. That's what I epic want, man. That's good. Yeah, with Ichigo, she's a face. And Yurichi keeps showing her, uh, mostly her, mostly her ass. Yeah, it's like, here we go, they're finally opening the hollows. I mean, we see freaking Grimyo in the opening. <gasps> Is that Grimyo? He's also in the opening, so... <laughs> Kurosaki Gordon, yeah, come on. Gotta spoil the opening. That, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not surprised that Grimyo stands there. Jesus Christ, man. 
We see him coming in the gallop opening, right? The opening is pretty spoiler, but yeah, Grimyard is coming. We obviously have Nell, right? Nell was in the third trailer. Yeah, Nell, Nell, uh, Nell Shan, she was in uh, trailer number three, right? For this season. So obviously, it's Grimyard and Nell and some other, you know, um, Hollow and Anka, she's gonna join them clearly, right? And why wouldn't they? The, because, you know, super evil Java High is like, oh, why will you destroy the planet? <laughs> so, or all, I mean, not this planet, but like all the different planet soul systems, the, like the four different dimensions. So there are four different dimensions, right? You know, you have human realm, right? Uh, heaven realm, so big Shinigamis, hollow realm, and also, of course, hell realm. Actually, also have hell, of course. Uh, so, yeah, it's like four layers of... I guess you could count five if you would say that the, the king's house is like the fifth layer, perhaps. Arguably, like the fifth layer is where the king lives. But uh, whatever your point. So, yeah, the, the Aranka should have joined them. <gasps> Giselle! The ending, yeah, but anyway, yeah, the, the Aranka will join them. Makes sense, right? But the opening clearly is spoiled, though, absolutely. As soon as you see the hollow, the hollow music. And I said earlier, too, that they had a hollow soundtrack going earlier. And then we see the hollow, like the classic, you know, opening the door thing in the hollows. Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's Grimio. He's like, Kurosaki, <laughs> yeah, bro. It's like, yeah, no surprise that he's gonna come in there, right? Um, but yeah, good last scene there. Uh, I mean, obviously, Yorichi got completely destroyed, right? Her right hand, I mean, not full. Oh, yeah, so after, it's always, it's always like, Bleach always has like a little, little bit after the cuts here. Okay, we get a little more. Yeah. But this is probably just how he's turning. Yeah, he's like leveling up right there. Java is uh, evolving to stronger form now. So he's even stronger now, of course, than he was in the last fight. Because this like weird blob thing. He's like eating up the world now. But he's basically turning into God, right? So you can see it like that. He's basically turning into God, right? So he's like leveling up to speak quite literally um but what i was saying uh no but like you know the i said like yeah now i've seen them all come together um so you just like how the hollow guys now uh, are, are joining ichigo right uh, like Grimio. and i mean obviously nell is already one of our friends right she's already uh, you know allied with with ichigo of course even of course in the last um uh, the last arc, I mean, but in the hollow arc, yeah. Uh, Shimon the arc, obviously, the contract. So, obviously, that makes sense. And same thing, right, with Best B and so on, Giselle, etc. They're obviously also like, well, yeah, we're gonna join you guys, because Java has plan is clearly to kill us also. Like, let's just actually join you guys. <laughs> yeah. Can we join too? Yeah, it's like, actually, we wanna be with you guys. Yeah, like, that's... Um, but that's, but that's what I said one thing I like in the opening, right? I said earlier episodes, in my opening review, because in the opening, Java is sitting on his throne, right? And everyone is dead around him. He's like black and, and red around him, like black and blood around him, because he's sitting there, like, you know, in, in basically everyone has died around him, right? Because his whole thing is that he absorbs all the queens, right, you know? Same thing with uh, Ishida's mom, right, for example, and so on. Yeah, he kind of eats their powers, the weak queens just kind of get absorbed, and that's kind of how he can, like, you know, re resurrect himself, right? And um, and by having these leather people, the the Shen Ritter, right, by having them die, he can, like, get their powers and so on, right? So, uh, yeah, Bass B is like... Uh, F that, <laughs> but uh, but I like that. Generally, I like it also because while, like I said earlier, obviously Shenritana overall is like magical Nazis, right? So they're super evil. Uh, some of them aren't just completely evil, or rather, maybe than the word is fanatic, but it's it's a mixture of it. I mean, right? You know what I mean? I think it's a mixture of it. I guess they're all definitely evil, but. It's probably more of a fanatical spectrum, right? Like Giselle clearly isn't. She's kind of crazy, right? Like a zombie girl. She's you know weird. She eats kind of makes Bobby at her slave and so on. Yeah, she's even, almost a very evil, but she isn't you know into like. I think it's a good example of again. She's evil, but she's not necessarily like aligned with Yavaha's plan. You know what I mean? Like she's not actually like she's evil by herself, right? And he's like, yeah, let's go and kill all these Shinigami. He's like, yeah, this will be fun. Shinigami, woo! You know, yeah, the skeletons, yeah. Like, she's crazy in, in that way, right? Oh, zombies, you know. Like, she's running, she, she wants to go to war, right? She's a crazy person, obviously. And she's a very strong character, and she obviously likes fighting, and she got this, like, you know, again, undead power, right? So she wants to go and fight people, because, you know, she obviously enjoys... She's obviously is a sadist, clearly, right? So, yeah, so she's obviously evil, right? But again, she's not, like, evil in the sense that she agrees with his plan, right? It's more like she's... 
She's more like Valentine. She's very similar to one of the what's that called them again? Hunting SS. So they're a different bunch of you know uh, World War Two troops, right? And there was one troop which I which do, do not Google this, okay? Seriously, there's one troop, uh, more than one, but especially one unit that the Germans had that were very very far into like the Eastern Europe and even further into Asia sometimes, but mostly Eastern Europe. And they basically were just a bunch of like. Um, convicted like criminals that they let into the army to be like oh you can do whatever you want as long as you don't do it against germans yeah that's how i feel like sell it so kind of like, oh this is like a convicted criminal like let loose in the army to be like i hey, just do your crime but in that country over here instead yeah but that actually was something the german did they they had a few units that were like a bunch of like murderers and p people and so on yeah they're sending them into like most of the soviet union and be like you do just commit crime on purpose basically yeah like do all this shit and so on. Um, don't read about that seriously. It's like one of the most darkest things ever. That is, that's probably the worst people in World War Two of all of all people. The Dirkin Hand unit, yeah, like completely insane uh, unit. I would say they're worse than actually what the Japanese did. I would say so because the Japanese also were crazy, but to some extent. But those people were like way worse because they basically just took like. They took like thousands of criminals, like convicted murderers, and let them go outside as like one big unit, like thousand. Imagine having like thousand, you know, murder people. Like, oh yeah, go into this town and do whatever you want, kind of thing. So uh, they were really, really terrible. But that's kind of how she feels, right? You know what I mean? Giselle, she kind of like that. She's just like she's just a crazy undead necromancer lady. She just wants to kill people, right? Because she, she enjoys it, right? And necessarily. Is it actually is that aligned with Jawa's plan? She's more like like these people that in World War Two. They like they don't actually care, you know, what the Führer wants. They just wants to be in the war because they enjoy the war. They just enjoy being part of the war. But it, it, it sounds sick, right? But some people all that, you know. And obviously, I guess it just has defense. Uh, arguably, she has under powers. So I guess in her defense, she kind of like to use her powers. She needs to be in a war kind of ish, right? And you, you might say that a lot of people kind of, you know, forced by the power to act like the war or whatever. So in her defense, maybe she's like, I want to be in the war, guys, because, you know, we, uh, I want to use my zombie power. So something like that, right? So, but whatever, your point. I, I, I think I like that the queen is now are not only betraying them, but also just how, uh, like we see, like, for example, in the last opening, not this opening, but opening before the season. How we see that, you know how Cupid does right? Clearly the queen, especially the female characters, have a lot of personality, right? You know, Candence and Giselle and Bambi Epp and so on. Yeah, they all have very strong personalities uh, in different ways, right? So he, he doesn't want to... She, he doesn't want them to be just this, like, you know, mind-dead, you know, evil, you know, soldier. She wants them to have this, like, badass, cool personality traits and so on, right? But in the beginning of the arc, you're kind of like, oh, yeah, we have to follow our evil leader, you know, the evil Führer, basically. But now when the Führer is going crazy up in the sky, they're like, oh, yeah, I guess you can, I can leave now, yeah. So I think that makes a lot of sense that some of them are like, no, I don't want to be in this army. I was forced to be in the army. And some more the guys, like the guy they betrayed, he's like, oh, I still believe in you. And the pfft, and he just, <laughs> he's like, shut up, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Kind of like in real wars, right? You know, some people believe in the cause, some people are kind of forced into the army. And, you know, and some people are... I think most people... Don't quote me on this, but I would say that most people are probably in the middle. Most people are probably in the army uh, in these bigger conflicts, in this world war conflict, and probably believing as in the cause to some extent, but they're probably not willing to, you know, go the extra evil mile, to speak. They're probably like, eh, I kind of agree with him, but I don't, like, I'm not like fanatically agree with him, right? And if I see evidence against it, I'm going to change my mind, probably. I think most people probably are like agree with the leaders in the beginning, and then they kind of change their mind uh, if they see, you know, counter evidence, right? That's kind of best be. He's like, he probably believed in Yavaha in the beginning, you know, actually believed in him. And then after a while, he was like, actually, this guy's crazy. So, you know what I mean? That's probably how he was. He was like, yeah, yeah, let's go and fight them. And then he's like, wait, this guy is effing crazy. I think I'm going to leave now. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what he, he's like that probably like for the first month he was like I'm all in and I was like well, no I, no 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 let's be, well, how do I leave now uh, but anyway yeah, did we go prescribe but then so you guys do with Ranma because like I, I I said I was gonna do Ranma reaction but you can I love it too much just goddamn hilarious but I think we have a great day.